For many of you, getting a new frame also means getting a new frame bag. And while it's not necessary, using the cargo space within the frame certainly makes a lot of sense. So in this video, we're gonna talk about custom frame bags, the importance of custom frame bags, and specifically, we're gonna talk about this Rogue Panda Designs frame bag, which is coming with a fabric of the future. So if you take anything away from these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna help support this channel financially, everything you see on bikepacking.com, including our bikepacking journal, which is our print publication shipped to your door twice a year, you can do so by signing up for the Bikepacking Collective. And there's a link below to learn more. So I'm gonna share a few reasons why custom frame bags are best. First off, it's a precise fit. Whether it's an extra small or an extra, extra large, these bags are made for you and your specific bike. That means these bags are gonna fit from tube to tube, maximizing your storage capacity within your frame. While half frame bags are nice and some will allow you to run water bottles, I still think a full custom frame bag will help maximize that frame space. Pre-made bags are nice. They're probably going to be a little bit more affordable, they are rarely going to fit your frame perfectly. So back in the day, which was probably only like five years ago or something like that, I remember always making a cardboard cutout of my frame and sending it to a frame manufacturer. And now all you have to do is tape a tape measure to the top of your top tube so that they can properly scale your frame. It's pretty awesome. So the other thing about going custom is, well, you can get the colors that you want to match, say, your bike. You can customize the shape of your bag. As you can see, this bag tapers to a really wide point at the front of the bike. And this is for a fat bike because, well, the Q factor is super wide on a fat bike and it gives you more capacity within the bag. This j -Packs bag also has dual compartments with a divider in the middle so that you can separate things if you want. Another option you have is the closure system. This is a roll top closure. So if you really don't like zippers, go with a roll top. And finally, it gives you mounting options. This bag is a bolt on bag at the bottom. It's got a lace up and then a tiny bit of Velcro up front here. So there are performance benefits with custom frame bags. And no, I'm not talking about wind performance and speed, because really who cares about that? What I'm talking about is the weight distribution of your bike. Putting weight within your frame is the best spot for not only heavy items, but also awkward items that won't fit in a handlebar roll or a seat pack. The frame in general is the best place to carry heavy items, but the lower the weight is on the bike or within the frame, the more grounded the bike is going to feel. As opposed to say carrying the most heavy items in your handlebar roll or your seat pack, that will definitely make your bike feel more top heavy. So finally, these bags, well, they're not just for bike packing. And while that might be the first thing that comes to mind, these bags are great for day rides. I tend to find myself throwing some water bottles in, some layers, snacks, my full toolkit, and it's just really easy because it can hold all of that and some. Not to mention, it's also a really great grocery getter for really small items like some cheese, maybe some ice cream, maybe a six pack. So just talking about what I typically pack here in this frame bag. So typically I'll have my repair kit, my tube, my pump, all of that at the bottom. While it is tucked away, I still can access it during the day. I'll also pack my first aid kit, maybe my two liter water bladder right here, and having my water bladder right on the down tube really helps support that weight. Typically right here, I'll have my stove kit. Next to it, I'll have an electronic area. And right up here is generally gonna be space for food. So I'll pack food in here, but I'll also leave some space so that I can actually get food from a resupply point. All right, so talking about this Rogue Panda Designs custom frame bag in detail now. So if you missed my video on how I ruined my bike in 300 miles, definitely click on the link below. As you can see, this bike is kind of taken apart. One thing that did last was the frame bag. And I really like this frame bag. This is kind of the epitome of what I like to see in a frame bag. It's lightweight, it's simple, but it's robust. Let's get into it. The face of the bag, this gray part of the bag, as you see here, is made out of an EPX 200, which is a 100% recycled fabric made by Challenge Outdoors. Challenge Outdoors is making this EcoPack fabric, which is made out of 100% recycled polyester fiber. It basically acts the exact same way as an X-Pack. It's waterproof, it's ripstop, but 
it's 100% recycled. The EPX series comes in a variety of different variations. However, Rogue Panda decided to pick that 200 variation because it has a really good strength to weight ratio. This EcoPack series is great because it reduces weight, it's more energy efficient to make, and it's overall cheaper. Rogue Panda Designs is dedicated to using more recycled material from Challenge Outdoors and plans on using other EcoPack fabrics once they run out of current fabric stock. The edges of a bag that hit the frame are made out of a 500D Cordura and sandwiched in between that Cordura is some foam padding and plastic stiffeners to not only help protect the contents inside the bag, but your precious frame as well. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, many frame bag manufacturers have customization options for their frame bags, and Rogue Panda is no different. Rogue Panda offers multiple compartments, dual zippers, reflective material, different mounting styles, and obviously different colors and their print designs, which they're known for. This specific bag is pretty simple. You've got a main zipper here that accesses the main compartment. And then on the non-drive side, you have a similar length zipper to access a small slip pocket. Speaking of zippers, this is a number 10 YKK molded tooth zipper. And if you would ask me what the most reliable zipper is for bike packing bags, this would be the one. The bag is directly mounted to the frame using the five bolts within this salsa timber jack. And then the remaining is a lace up on the top tube here with one Velcro strap up front. And one really cool feature is Rogue Panda provided some frame saver tape. So I actually frame saved the top part of where the lace up goes just to make sure that it doesn't wear down any of the paint of my frame. So talking about the durability and quality of this custom frame bag. So when I was talking to Nick about ordering this bag, I was surprised to know that they actually had this new Salsa Timberjack that was launched this year. It's completely different geometry. They had the pattern already in stock and they have a very large library of patterns available, which saves an extra step for you. I got the bag, installed it, and well, it looks very similar to how it does now. It fits like a glove. The bolt-on holes were positioned perfectly. The lace-on cord is really nice. It's robust so it doesn't stretch out. And this one little small Velcro strap down here truly lets the zipper glide smoothly with one hand. One downside to the lace-up is the process of installing and uninstalling. It's definitely a chore, but it does create a more snug fit versus say a bolt-on or Velcro system. So this bag endured quite a bit between mud, rain, and everything. And what happens with X-Pack or this Eco-Pack is when you have a lot of moisture or a lot of rain or a lot of water that you go through, it is bound to absorb into the fabric. Generally speaking, these bags are water resistant, but definitely not waterproof. Especially with those direct mount holes, water definitely does find its way through. The cool thing about this bag and the Eco-Pack fabric was when it was wet, it didn't actually stretch out. So when it dried up, it structurally came back to life like new just not as gray as it once was. I packed this bag to the gills, so the zipper saw quite a bit of stress, but it's still gliding like new. So you might be asking yourself, but what about those water resistant zippers that I see on some bags? Well, those really aren't that great because it's a zipper and water always finds a way through a zipper. So I'd much prefer a molded tooth zipper over a coil zipper. And finally, just taking a detailed look at the bag, the stitching, the loops for the cord, the fabric as a whole, the structure. I'm not seeing any red flags, and while the bag has faded and gotten really dirty, it definitely has plenty of life left to it. Overall, I'm extremely pleased with this bag and what Rogue Panda is doing. Having an eye on the future with this EcoPack fabric, making durable, functional, and lightweight bags, offering bags in a variety of different colors and print options, and of course, making bags here in the United States in Flagstaff, Arizona. Rogue Panda is currently offering EcoPack fabrics in black and this wolf gray, as you can see here. And not in the too distant future, they will be offering all of their awesome print designs on EcoPack fabric. This bag right here starts at $160 and goes up depending on the customizations that you want. So if you have a custom frame bag, let us know why. Put a comment in the comment section below why you went custom over stock. As always, thank you all so much for the support, and until next time, pedal further.